So you've probably had an incident where you were, you know, getting groceries and you were behind some people and they have no idea that you're behind them because your Tesla is so quiet. So quiet that back in 2019 of September, NHTA required all Tesla vehicles to have some sort of emitting sound device um, for 50% of their vehicles. So in July, if you have a car between July through September of 2019, they actually typically have the harness, right? But anything before that, it doesn't have the harness. And then in 2020, they required, um, around September, they required all vehicles. So if you have any car past that September 2020 mark, you most likely have this. And it's, it's, it makes a whirling sound, kind of like a space spacecraft sound. However, um, uh, earlier this year too, they actually came out with a new thing called Boombox. And it's super fun. You can actually put any sound that you want with a USB device, but they have fun things like, you know, uh, different songs, uh, fort noises, and you can do it while you're walking uh, in front of other people. I know it's silly, but uh, a lot of people have been asking about how do I get this on a retrofit? So today we're gonna be talking about how to put this, install it, talk about the software, some of the limitations, and kind of walk you through of how we would install this on a car that does have a harness. So if you're willing to try this out, uh, it's fairly simple as far as in, you know mounting this hardware into the bottom part of that bumper but all you need is a PWS system and the part number I'll be putting in the description, but it is 129965-00-A. And then it'll come with the screws over here and these are gonna be hex uh, torque uh, 25. So I like using a tool like this because I can get a better angle since I'll be putting it down here. So if you have something like this, good for you. If you don't, you could just use a simple tool. Um, I would definitely recommend some trim tools um, like this. You can actually purchase this at our shop. And then I would definitely recommend some light, right? Because it's gonna be really dark in there. So the PWS is right under here. If you actually look under here, you're gonna see some perforated and some holes uh, where your speakers can actually, you know, you can hear the speaker. So the first step is to get these, uh, the side trim out. And the way to do it is, I like holding it down here, just pulling it. There you go. There's an actual clip right here. So this is the pry tool you're gonna to be using and you're just gonna pry it open and then you just kind of go around. You need to remove this uh, this uh, clip right here and you just wanna pry that up and it comes up and then it should just come off like this. And one thing to note is this is slightly different because this actually goes through two layers. So this is actually longer. So when you put it back, make sure you're putting the right thing over here. And one other thing I forgot to mention guys is make sure your tires are all the way here. If you have a lift, I mean, it would be easier if you lift it up, take a tire, but I think it's unnecessary. You can do it without doing all that. So I've got this off and then you can see the trim tool. I mean, this is pretty much off. So I'm just gonna let it hang for a bit. And then you're gonna see another clip all the way under there. So you may not be able to see it, but there's a clip. So, now that I've, oh, I got all this clips off, you can see that I can kind of move this to the side like this. Um, and then I'm gonna show you how this works. So I'm gonna do my best to, we have a light in there so you guys can see. But before we get started, kind of want to explain how this works. So you got the PWS system. You're just gonna put it in there and it goes really one way, I believe. So it kind of just sticks there. But before I do that, I'm actually not gonna put it in. Just wanted to show you how this place is in. Oh, sorry. Oops. Um, but inside here, so this harness right here, typically, like mine had a duct tape, there's a clip all the way to in the inside. And what you wanna do to make it a lot easier for you is grab this tool. You're gonna just pry that open. And it helps sometimes if you can get your finger and then just push it out. And once you loosen that, you can see that that's the clip right here that I just loosened. So once you do that, there's actually gonna be a cap here and you just need to loosen that and then this cap comes off and obviously now you can connect this directly to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, connect this and it goes up just like this. There you go, you'll hear like a small clip because there is a clip right there. And then you are going to go ahead and put this back in. There you go. 
So uh, once it's placed, uh, like I said, um, I'm gonna see, you see I can't reach that. So, sorry, you guys can't see very well. Again, if you go this way, this won't be able to reach either. So again, I think I'm just gonna decide to go put it all the way in the inside over there. So go ahead and line it up. And once you line it up, it won't really move because it kind of just stays steady. And what you want to do is grab your hex 25 or T Torx 25 screw. And you're going to go ahead All right, so we finally got this in. Um, if I were to give any advice, I would definitely go for the one all the way in. And if you do have a power tool, it does help because you need to kind of drive that down. And then you could put the sides as well. But that's why it's so important to put this on because it's gonna be hard for your hand to move around. Obviously, the other way is to take this wheel out and take the whole thing out, you'll have access. But that's a lot more work. So, I mean, if you wanna do that, you can do that. But I prefer very much doing that. Before you put this on, what you wanna do is we wanna test it. Your boom box isn't gonna work right off the bat because you do need to push out a software. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. But we're gonna test if this actually works. It should work immediately. I'll just put it on reverse and you can see for, and then check. All right, can you guys hear that? That's obviously the sign that it works. You can hear that, I'm gonna put it on park. And then if you try to see it, I mean, you go to like entertainment, toy box, you're not gonna have boom box, just so you guys know. But I know that it's worked, it's good to go. So I'm gonna put it back and then I'll show you um, how you would do the software part. So first things first, if you have any tools, make sure you get it out. So I had my light in there. <laughs> so I've actually forgotten stuff in there before. So just uh, make sure you take everything out. And then again, with the clips, this is the only one that's different, but it's because it goes over both of those. So it doesn't really matter which one you go first, so on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start the clips on. Put that in there. There's two clips and it goes in this hole right there. So when you're doing this part, make sure you are aligning, but make sure those holes are in. And then once it is, there you go. Make sure everything's aligned. And then you can push everything back as well. And just like that, and you got the long tool right there, and then we should be good to go. All right, so now that you have it installed, you need to hack into the system, into the matrix. Uh, I'm just kidding. Um, you really just have to email a Tesla service technician. And if you don't know someone, uh, I would just call them. But at the same time, you could actually bring this to Tesla. If you really want boombox, you could ask them if your car already has it, you know, already has a harness. So it's roughly about a 180 or $200 for the part. Not really sure how much the labor would be, but if you want to make this a do yourself thing, this is what you would do. So I'm not going to share any information. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, do it, but it's going to be blurred. Um, awesome. So send an email to your service technician or your service center or whoever contact you have. And typically what will happen is, or what they told me is they would send you a firmware, you update it, and then you should have boombox in your car. So we're just gonna be patient. We're gonna wait. And tomorrow we'll see if we get the update and see if boombox works. All right guys, so I did get the update. I uh, got it actually really, really fast, and I was able to update to 32.21, the firmware. And actually, when I first updated it, it didn't actually work right away. Uh, however, I was able to contact Tesla, and then they debugged it, and then immediately it worked. So now, I have Boombox, and I can do stuff like that. So you have Old Horde. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Uh, applause and there's a lot you can choose from as you can see right posh toss a coin goat um, and you can actually put your own stuff so that's really cool I haven't had the chance to do that yet but I definitely will I need to figure out what creative way we can do this for the next video or something like that all right guys so just let us know if you have any questions in the comments below make sure to follow us and subscribe uh, we're coming out with a lot of really really fun content for the holidays until next time, we'll see ya.